Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to The Rustic Wife. I'm Alana. So today my daughter and I are heading out to pick up some groceries and I thought I'd bring you along with us and you can check out the prices. We are in Ontario, Canada, and we're about two hours north of Toronto. And I know the food prices are sneaking up everywhere. So I thought I'd bring you along. And before we get going, I'm going to show you the uh, few things that I do before I head out to the grocery store. And also when I'm there, I'm going to show you some gas prices too. <laughs> the first thing I do before I go grocery shopping is I like to check out the latest flyer. And um, so I there are a few stores that I usually go to. So I'll, I'll just look at those, the ones that are local. Because with gas prices, I don't want to be driving all over the place. So I see at Food Basics, there's pineapple on for $1.88. I'll grab a couple of those. Um, I'm almost out of onions. So these Vidalia sweet onions, I'll, I'll grab a bag of those too. But yeah, you can just check through the flyers to see what you need and put her on your list. So you can see I'm down to some spaces in the refrigerator here. Um, I do have things that I could, you know, got lots of vegetables to make some soup out of. Got some leftover meatloaf. I mean, we'd survive, but I just want to fill her up a bit. I do have lots of canned goods and baking supplies, so I don't really need a lot today, but I will stock up a few things that are on sale too. So once I've checked out the flyers, I make my list and anything that I see on sale, I'll just put a um, sale in brackets and then I just put FB, that stands for the grocery store that I'll be going to to get it. Um, two stores I'll be going to today, Food Basics and then Loblaws is just right across the road so I can zip in there and um, pick up anything that they have on sale. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go downstairs and look in my overstock to see if I have any of these items and if I do, um, I'll just cross it off my list or if it's a good price, I'll just stock up and, you know, have lots for overstock. But if you're on a budget and you only have so much money that you need to spend each week or each month, it's good to cross reference your overstock so that you're not spending more than you need to. Here's some overstock here. So I'm going to look on my list and I do have peanut butter on there, but I do have some, if I do find peanut butter on sale, I usually grab an extra just so I have it, because I bake a lot with peanut butter and you know peanut butter on toast. So I just have one regular peanut butter on overstock. That's a natural one that I use for baking and for granola bars and things like that. So if I do find one, I will get it on sale. If not, I'll just cross it off my list. That's an extra bag of coffee. I have a full jar upstairs. These are the beans. Um, if I do find those on sale, I will grab some more because they used to be, the regular price of them used to be $16.99. Now the price is $21.49. And when they come on sale, they come on sale for $12.99. I also have ketchup on my list and I have an extra one here. But I do know it's on sale and I might grab one more just to have. Also, I like to buy things in bulk, less packaging, and it works out to be cheaper. So I just buy things like that and fill my little pump here. All right, we're heading out to the grocery store right now. It is nine o'clock. We usually like to go a little bit earlier than this because grocery shopping there can be like a full contact sport because some people are crazy, aren't they? <laughs> so um, when we get there, I'm going to show you some of the gas prices. It's a long weekend, so the prices will be a little bit higher, um, but the grocery prices shouldn't be. So, anyway, here we go. and pineapples are on sale for $1.88. So I grabbed two of those. Lemons, there's six in a bag for $3.88. Vidalia sweet onions, there's about six in a bag for $2.88. 10 pounds of potatoes, $5.98. And I found some lemons on sale here at the discount rack for $1.49 and there's seven in a package there, and um, so I put the other ones back. 
And here the hummus is um, on sale for $4 for a small container. So that's why I like to make my own. And cheese, cheese is so expensive. That's $8 for that small little package. And that's on sale. Little Borson cheese, $7. Coffee here, it wasn't on sale. $21.49. Here's some coffee on sale here, Tim Hortons brand. I didn't need any. I like the Lavazza that we usually get, but I'll wait until it comes on sale. And there's more Tim Hortons coffee. Cereal is so expensive. $10 for that vector box. Um, $4.50 for uh, a smaller box of Raisin Bran. It's not too bad, the prices, I've seen them higher, but $7 for a small box. Peanut butter. Um, I didn't end up getting one. I like the Jif, and this stuff's okay too, but $4. Not too bad of a price, actually. And bacon. You need to take a mortgage out to get bacon. <laughs> this isn't even a pound. And uh, 375 grams. A pound is 454 grams, and it's $7, and it's so thin so you'd need to eat all of that for breakfast it's just crazy how much bacon is I wonder if the pork farmers actually get that money because I don't think I don't think they do I guess it's all the processing um, hot dogs if I get hot dogs I actually get this brand which is all beef um, and it is seven dollars and fifty cents for five so I didn't get any today wait till they're on sale if I do get them. It's the odd time we'll eat those, but for the small ones, it's six bucks for a package. And the price of shortening and lard has gone up a bit. i gone up by about 50 cents, I think. Prunes and dried fruit and nuts are really expensive. $7 for walnuts. That's just a small bag there, actually. Um, dates, $7. And tins of tuna and salmon. That's salmon right there for $5 for one tin. That's on sale. Here we are at Loblaws. The prices are a little bit higher, but I did get a few things that were on sale. Some navel oranges were on for $4.99. And also some pork back ribs, they were on for $4.99 a pound. And I got a family pack for $30. And then here's the butter, $8.50 a pound for the, the Gay Lee. So we're back from grocery shopping and I have everything out on the table to show you. So these are all my groceries for $220.43. This cheese, the grocery store where I was at, it is the cheapest and it was $6.99. That's gone up quite a bit. It used to be $5, I think. So now it's seven. Uh, this butter was $5.99. And you could see earlier on the video that some of the butter was $8.50. This yogurt was $8.88. There's 12 little cups in there. Um, my daughter likes that for school. Uh, the cream, this 18% one liter cream, it was $4.79. Um, the whipping cream, 500 or 473 milliliters, that was $2.77. Um, four liters of milk was $5.79. These paper towels are there. Uh, no name brand and they were $4.99. I just got some bleach. I don't use bleach a lot, but if I do need it, that was $3. And then our fruit, uh, clementines were on for $3.88. Last week I got them for $2.88, so that was a better deal. But so I got two things of clementines, that mesh bag of Vidalia onions, the sweet ones, and some romaine hearts. I usually get the hearts because I end up pulling off all the outer leaves of the, uh, the, 
the bigger, the full romaine lettuce. And the pineapple, I grabbed two. They were on for $1.88. And I did originally, as you can see in the video previously, I had the lemons, they were on for $3.88. And then I looked on the discount rack and these lemons were on for $1.49. And then navel oranges, $4.99. The Crisco shortening, I like to use this for my pastry or uh, some cookies I use half butter, half shortening, but that price has gone up too. I believe they were $3.29 per pound. Uh, coffee, I don't usually buy um, this coffee for us to drink. I use it for recipes. I have a mocha fudge uh, pie that I usually make and it calls for that. And also for my iced mochas, I'll leave a link above for that. So that was on for $3.88. Bush's beans were on sale for $1.67 a tin, and the tins of salmon were on for, what were they on for? $4.99. I've seen them all the way up to $7.99 for a tin, and they're 213 grams. Not a lot of salmon in there anymore. Uh, Primo pasta, I don't need a lot of pasta. I already have a couple downstairs, so I just got those, and they were $1.25 each, a couple of Boxes of Certo, got some jam to make, and they were $2.79 each. Juice boxes, Isabel likes those for her lunch, so there's just a few snacks here for her lunch. These were $2.50, um, $1.99 for the granola bars, and there's six in there. She wanted to try some of these Parmesan and cheese and garlic breadsticks, and they were $1.99, I think. The cereal, she likes this cereal, and that was on sale for... $2.99, I believe. Got some soy sauce, and that was $6.99. The ketchup, I had some downstairs already, but this ketchup was on for $2.88. Usually it's $5, so I just grabbed an extra one. Um, bits and bites for snacks, they were uh, $1.88. And I usually buy the brown sugar in bulk bags, but I just picked up a smaller bag of the dark brown sugar just to have it. And some English muffins, they were $1.99. Parchment paper, I, I like to grab a bulk one, but they didn't have any. So this was, I believe it was $2.88 for um, 33 feet. Vitamins, these were on sale for $13.99 for $280. And just some shampoo we have, and that was two, excuse me, $3.99. And some goat's milk soap. That was $4.88 for three bars. Uh, some cat food for the outdoor cats. So that was $12. And then this meat. You'll see previously in the video before that I showed at the grocery store, a pound of bacon. It's not even a pound anymore. And it's $7 or $8 for a pound. So I get this one. It's extra thick cut. And it's one kilogram of bacon. And it was on sale for $15. Usually it's about $17. And really, you just need about one or two pieces each. So this one lasts much longer than the really thin papery stuff that you get in the regular size um, package. And then uh, ribs, they happen to be on sale at Loblaws. And there's two racks here, two large racks, and that'll be $30. So I'll just cut these in half. I mean, we don't eat a lot when we make ribs. There's just three of us. So this will last us quite a while. And I'll cut those up and put them in bags. So yeah, all of this was $220. I'm sure other places are more expensive, but it's getting ridiculous to go grocery shopping. So when I can, I make my own things like cookies or granola, like cereal and things, and I'll link that recipe above for the granola. But when you look at the ingredients prices, sometimes it's not cheaper to, to make your own. I know it tastes better and it's better for you, but sometimes it's not cheaper to make your own. Um, like butter, $8.30 a pound of butter. And if you need a pound of butter for your cookies or to make two batches, that's, that's really expensive. So um, that's why I like to kind of shop around and use shortening in place of butter. If I can do half and half, that cuts down the cost a little bit. Um, I just try my best and look to see what's on sale and make what I can and try to save some money. These are all put away and I have the ribs split up into three uh, bags for the freezer and these will be uh, one meal for the three of us. So there's three meals of ribs there So when I was out grocery shopping, I of course had to stop off at the thrift store and it's a 
a thrift store that the proceeds all go to the Humane Society and I found these um, handmade pillow shams. Aren't they beautiful? So they were $12 for the pair and look at the work. Look at the work that goes in, that went into that. And while we're on the topic of buying things, I picked these up yesterday for my friend for my friend Jill. She has an online boutique called Ani by Jill, and I'll leave that link below in the description box so you can check it out. But I got these, and they are stainless steel little lunch containers, and they nest for perfect storage. And let's see here, they're a Canadian company. They're designed in Canada, made in India. They are dishwasher safe, oven safe, freezer safe. They're sustainable, ethically made, and there's a lifetime warranty on these. No lead and no hormone disruptors either. So um, yeah, they're really cute. So I grabbed two of those. So these handmade pillow shams and these really cool containers are my purchases I'm excited about lately. And another cool thing is that a portion of the proceeds from her sales she donates to um, foundations for children with autism. So I think that's a really good thing too. Thanks a lot for joining us today as we headed out to those stores and battled some of those crowds. But what I'd be interested to know is where you're from and different prices of food that you're paying in your area, whether it be in a different um, part of Canada or a different country. Um, yeah, leave those in the comments and I'd be interested to read those because I know inflation's hitting everyone around the world, so I think we're all in the same boat. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you again next time.